No, we have another guy out here that's pulling a DJ kid, Jason Pope. Okay. Now you remember that story. He was the DJ that was passing his HIV out to many black women. Now you have another guy. Okay. So he has been HIV positive and this guy was sentenced to jail for six years, six years, but we'll get to the rest of the story for having sex with women without telling them that he was HIV positive. So Danny C. Perry, um, he's 41 years old. He pleaded guilty in Nashville uh, to HIV exposure and he went to prison for transmitting the incurable virus on September the 30th. Now I say the Davidson County criminal court judge, Steve Dozer, uh, found Perry guilty of a felony charge of criminal exposure of another to HIV and handed him the maximum jail time for the offense. Okay. So the police and prosecutors are urging women that had sex with this guy to get yourself tested and come forward. If you had any kind of sex with this man, now I said Metro police and the district attorney said they are pursuing additional charges against Perry. If more of his sex partners come forward. I said Perry was a warehouse worker in Carthage, Tennessee, and was active in Nashville's adult softball league for years. I said, Mr. Perry, it said is a predator. Uh, Kate Boston Melby, the uh, Davidson County assistant district attorney stated who prosecuted him is saying we're here for any victims. and say, we have the strength and courage to come forward and say, we want them to know we'll support them no matter the circumstances. Now, the district attorney said that there were likely dozens of women in Tennessee and other Southern states who Perry exposed to HIV. See, this is the problem. They think that it's at least 19 women, but those 19 women had sex with other people. So now 19 people, 19 women could be spreading it or have spread it to multiple men. Okay. Out there. And you brothers, you know, if, if you know anything, you know, with, with check, like I say, listen, check yourself. Y'all can't be going to people raw like that. You can't do that. Listen, when I was single, it, it was no way I was going to go fool with any woman without the proper protection. I believe what our protection should be in a monogamous, you know, relationship, preferably a marriage. Now I said, pro, now check this out. A prosecutor said Perry was married when he infected his softball league friend and didn't use a condom when he had sex with the victim. So it said the friend, it said who has not to be identified in court documents said Perry never told her he had HIV. So in September, 2016, she called Perry to say that she was tested positive for HIV and he acted surprised and had concern. Is it in between multiple HIV tests? She asked Perry if there are anything that he should tell her regarding his medical history and he texts back. No, it said, however, an investigation of Perry had received medical treatment for HIV since at least 2009, according to a detective, Kevin Wiles of the Metro police sex crimes unit and say the victim as they discovered a series of private messages on Perry's Facebook account that he revealed he had sex with as many as 19 women in the last two years. That's the last two years. We ain't talking about, since 2009. So it's more women than that. It say he knowingly infected someone with HIV, knowing that he had it, knowing that he could prevent it by taking his medication and by using other forms of protection during their relationship. It say he still chose to be reckless with other people's lives. Boy, I tell you that kind of person like that, I really would like to say what should happen to him on YouTube, but I, I, I don't want to have any issues. Now they said Perry's lawyer, Bobby Ballinger said Perry apologized to the victim during the sentencing hearing. He said he was contrite at the sentencing hearing. He got sentenced and he's doing his time. Um, people like that should get the death penalty. Okay. I, I'm, I'm just keep keeping it, you know, real with you. He should get the death penalty. This is horrible. Now I said one of Perry's ex-girlfriends, Marvelyn Brown of Nashville testified in the sentencing September 30th saying, he gave her HIV in 2003. Okay. So he'd been having this way back then, but the woman discovered that, you know, he had been definitely taking medications since 09. So Brown now lives in New York and is an HIV AIDS activist who wrote the best-selling book, The Naked Truth in Perry, AKA Prince Charming. 
Okay. Now they said they happened to report that they gave the six years and he is a registered sex offender. His lawyer asked he can get 30 days to report to the judge. Uh, and the judge said no today. Danny Perry, he said, if you don't drop the soap, that is what the judge actually said to this guy. Okay. So let, let, let me tell y'all something. They say it's a felony to be HIV positive and has to take someone else without telling them first you had the virus. Y'all need to be careful out here. Y'all out here, you know, you laying down to any old body. And the bad part about the HIV deal is that people look normal. They're not walking around here, you know, like with the full blown AIDS virus where you could see them deteriorating and you could see all what's happening to them. No, the stuff is still real out here. And for someone to pass that to somebody, in my opinion, you do that, that should be the death penalty. And I mean, death penalty within 30 days, you go into the, you go into the, the needle or whatever they doing to you. You need to go because them kind of people need to be making an example out of seriously. You infecting people on purpose because you don't care. That, that is very, very upsetting to, to see this kind of story. And you doing this to other black women into the community. And then these black women are being with other people and doing this to other brothers. So there's no, there's no telling how many people could have HIV right now based off of that fool right there. That's why I tell people try to get in committed monogamous relationships that nobody's out here being loosening morals with each other and cheating. Just that's why I say, look, I see these stories like this. I'm like, man, I'm good. I don't want to be out there like that, man. Forget that. But, um, y'all let me know, you know, what's, you know, you know, your opinion If any of you guys and ladies live in the Nashville area. You know, if you know any of those people, let them know, get themselves tested because, uh, this, this stuff is real out here, but let me know in the comments what you think about this particular story.